what's going on everybody welcome back to my youtube channel now look at this nice and beautiful question we have here on the board that we're going to be solving and the question says solve for all values of x such that 2 to the power of x times 3 to the power of x squared times 5 to the power of x cubed is equal to 30. well main looking at this question we can easily guess the value for x that x is equal to 1. why because 2 times 3 times 5 is going to give us 30. But remember, the question says solve for all values of x. That means I have other solutions of x. So let's find those other solutions. Well, our first step towards solving this question is to divide both sides of the equation by 30. So let's do that real quick. So we have 2 to the power of x times 3 to the power of x squared times 5 to the power of x cubed is equal to 30. I'm going to be dividing this left-hand side by 30, and I'll also divide this right-hand side by 30. Now, I can split this denominator, which is 30, to look like this. So let's do that real quick. So I have 2 to the power of x times 3 to the power of x squared times 5 to the power of x cubed divided by 30, which is 2 times 3 times 5. That is it. Now, equal to 30 divided by 30, I'm going to be having 1. Now, watch. We can apply indices here on this left-hand side. This can be written as 2 to the power of x minus 1. Since they are dividing, take one of the base and subtract the powers. I'll be doing the same thing to this other 2 times 3 to the power of x squared minus 1 times 5 to the power of x cubed minus 1 equal to 1. Very good. So now, things are looking well and good. Now, the next thing we're going to be doing is to take the natural log of both sides. So I'm going to be taking a natural log, which is ln of the left-hand side, 2 to the power of x minus 1 times 3 to the power of x squared minus 1 times 5 to the power of x cubed minus 1 equal to ln 1. That is it. So now, notice that for logarithm, laws of logarithm, whether natural log or not, the law can be expressed as, for example, when I have ln xy, this can be written as ln x plus ln y. So let's express this like this. So let me do this like that. So I'm going to be having ln 2 to the power x minus 1 plus ln 3 to the power x squared minus 1 plus ln 5 to the power x cubed minus 1 equal to lin 1. I'm going to be having 0. So that is it. So our next step is to apply another law of logarithm, which shows that I can use this power to multiply the lin of the number. So let's do that. I'm going to be using x minus 1 to multiply lin 2 plus, I'll do the same thing here, x squared minus 1. I'm going to be using it to multiply lin 3 plus I'm going to be doing the same thing here, s cubed minus 1. I'm going to be using it to multiply ln 5 equal to 0. Good. Now, notice that x minus 1 is common. So, we can be able to factorize that out. So, x minus 1 out. Now, I'm going to be having ln 2 remaining here. Plus, since this is difference of 2 square, I'm going to be having x plus 1 remaining here times ln 3. Plus, and since this is difference of two cubes, x minus 1 is already out. So, I'm going to be having x squared plus x plus 1 remaining ln times ln 5. So, equal to, let me close this bracket, equal to 0. So, that is it. So, we have two cases here. We have x minus 1 to be equal to 0. Or, we have this other one, which is ln 2 plus x plus 1 ln 3 plus x squared plus x plus 1 ln 5 equal to 0. So these are the two cases we have. And from the first case, we can easily get the value of x, which we've got earlier as x equal to 1. So now let's focus attention on our second case. Now from the second case, let's open up the bracket. So I have ln 2 plus x ln 3 plus ln 3, plus 
x squared ln 5 plus x ln 5 plus ln 5 equal to 0. So I'm going to be writing this one first because this one is carrying the highest power of x. I can write it as x squared ln 5 plus, now notice that x is common here and here. So we're going to be factorizing x out. So we have ln 3 plus ln 5 times x. That is it. So plus what is going to be remaining, I'll be having ln 2 plus ln 3 plus ln 5 equal to 0. So we can see that we have quadratic expression here, but let's just make it a little more realistic. So we can express this as ln 5 times x squared plus this can be expressed as ln 15x. How? Because 3 times 5 is going to give me 15. I took this from the law of logarithm, which says that when I have ln x plus ln y, this can become ln x times y. That is it. So this is what I did. Plus, I'm going to be doing the same thing here. This is going to give me ln 30 equal to 0. So we can see the quadratic equation very clear now. Now, we're going to be using the general formula to solve this. x equal to negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. From here, we can see that our a is equal to ln 5, our b is equal to ln 15, and our c is equal to ln 30. So let's factorize this into our equation and see how we get the other solutions for x. So substituting, I have x to be equal to negative b, which is negative ln 15, plus or minus square root of b square is ln 15 squared minus 4a, a is ln 5, c, c is ln 30. So that is it. So divide by 2a, a is ln 5. That is it. So we need to take this into consideration. You notice that this expression here is smaller than this other expression, which means what I have inside the radical is less than 0. That means we're going to be having a complex solution here. So let's represent this as a complex solution. So this is going to be x equal to negative ln 15 plus or minus. We can put i here, which is a complex value. So square root of. Now write this one first because what's going to be inside the radical this time should be positive. So 4 ln 5 ln 30 minus ln 15 squared that's it now divide by 2 ln 5 so this is the other solution that we have for x well if you enjoyed this video and have learned something from this video do not hesitate to give this video a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't turn on the notification bell so you don't miss my upcoming videos and like i always say until next time Take care.